everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. For today's video, we're going to do a grand tour around the site, take a look at some areas we don't normally see. We'll be on the far west side and looking back at the factory across where that west support facility is, the far southwest corner where contractor parking is located and some additional uh, earthwork is underway south of the Colorado River near where the electrical power plant is to the far northeast where we're going to see where a new road is going to be built across the east side where the uh, staging and contractor trailers are and to the extreme far north of the site. Now I thought doing a grand tour would be a great opportunity to also update you on a revised permit for the replacement of Harold Green Road. And this illustration gives you an idea about where that is located on the property. Now, you may recall that Harold Green Road used to be near where the factory is, and it has been renamed Tesla Road as shown by the arrow in the upper right-hand side of the screen. Now, they've decided that they want to replace that road, and they've been doing permits over the last uh, couple of years. It looks like they have a new one, as you can see here. The link is at the bottom of the screen. And this is a City of Austin notice of filing an application for administration approval for a new site plan. And this is sent out to residents around the area. And fortunately, we got these uh, documents with some updated information and a revised map. And you can tell on the left what that new four-lane road is going to look like. And it's going to run along the north side of the property. And with this arrow, gives you an idea about where that is located in reference to the battery cathode plant. And this is uh, a new road that uh, is going to allow connecting from the State Highway 130 on the upper right over to the housing community and a final decision is going to be made on the 14th of January or tomorrow so this is still in progress but uh, we will get a chance to see where this road goes and constructed through this area and then a connecting over to the highway on the right hand side of the screen so I hope you enjoyed this update and just some additional information along with the grand tour of the factory site. So let's get into the drone, fly around and see what Giga Texas looks like on this grand tour. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. If you are interested in Tesla products, you can help yourself and support me by using my referral code. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas. Good morning here on Giga Texas's west side. We're looking across a housing community back towards the main factory and don't normally fly this far to the west, but it is a good starting point as much of the work that is going on at that west support facility with the end of line, the outbound lot, the west warehouse and wheels and where the cyber tunnel is being constructed is in view and it gives you a great context of where that is located and the size of the uh, housing community here on the west side. Now, as we continue to fly towards the southwest, you can see that large material staging yard just on the other side of the housing community. And on the right-hand side of the screen, this large clearing that continues to have earthwork being done. It looks like there's actually some depressions that have been made, as you can see in the middle of the screen. Of course, the roadway that has lined with gravel for mud control near the ponds. And some of those ponds are still there, but uh, almost all of them have been replaced and removed along with the hills, with the exception of this one. I also see a rectangular silt fence on the left-hand side of the screen, so there may be some construction in that area after all something to continue to monitor as time goes on now this large parking lot that you see is for contractors and they'll park here and then they have shuttle buses that'll take them to the various work sites around giga texas and this helps to deconflict the amount of vehicles 
that are on site from the ones over near the factory where the employees are parking. We also see in the middle of the screen that uh, large material staging yard that has all of those transformers that we've been monitoring. Of course, River Road is running down the middle of the screen. And just underneath the drone on the bottom right is this ecological uplift area where Tesla has put many millions of dollars into restoring this part of the site and just to the north of the Colorado River. This is a nice view across River Road, the West Warehouse on Wheels back to the main factory and a really nice look with this uh, lighting of how that entire south end uh, appears with all of the glass and that it is nearly fully enclosed. Now, as we get closer towards the South Bridge and we fly over the Colorado River, I want to try to just give you a, another kind of a farther uh, perspective of what this area looks like from this vantage point. Of course, the Colorado River is not part of Giga Texas's property. It's basically forming the southern boundary of it. All of the power lines that you see coming off from the left to the right are coming to the uh, Sand Hill Energy Plant, which uh, is what powers uh, part of Giga Texas, but also part of the region here. And it is one of several energy plants that Austin Energy has together that uh, pretty much provides power for the entire region. And you can see some of the electrical switch yard on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. They do have some solar panels in this area, but not a whole lot. Um, but most of the factory uh, producing the power is just behind the drone. Now, as we continue to fly along the Colorado River, looking to the north, uh, we had a great view of how the south end of the factory looks. You can see that multi-level parking garage. And between uh, the river and that garage is where uh, River Road will continue to be extended through this area. And much of what we are seeing now with the uh, north part of the river, all of the trees is going to be part of that ecological paradise or open section for the public once that roadway and some additional work is completed. And that's going to extend all the way from uh, the left-hand side of the screen through to the right-hand side of the screen and encompass much of this area where we see with the trees at the bottom of the screen and near where those uh, electrical poles are. We do see a lot of these dirt roads through this area, and it's used by various contractors to either uh, bypass part of the site and just drive around this area or also to uh, do some surveying, most likely for that future work. Now, this is an area we do see Sometimes this is the material staging workshops and trailers for a lot of the contractors. Also in the middle of the screen, the East Warehouse on Wheels. We also have a recycling center and uh, another area at the bottom right coming into view where they do additional recycling. And uh, this whole area, once the main huge projects are completed will be emptied out. And from what I understand, we're gonna see a welcome center built in this area possibly sometime this year. Of course, a nice look at the battery cathode plant and that crash test facility. And we're going to continue to pan to the north, follow the Colorado River, uh, and look to that north area where we see those two large uh, clearings. And we have the one on the right, which is the Lone Tree clearing with the uh, rental equipment lot and maintenance facility. And the one on the upper left is where they are putting a lot of materials. Now, I put the arrow up here just to give you a reminder. This is where the new Harold Green Road site will pass through this area, connecting the housing on the right all the way to State Highway on the left. And uh, once that is completed, it will also provide access uh, to this part of the site uh, for both the public and also for the Giga Texas employees. And possibly also for some of the uh, trucks to bring in uh, materials and uh, continue with some of the construction that is most likely going to continue through this area. Now, everything that you do see here, the Lone Tree Field, where the rental equipment lot is, that large uh, field in the middle of the screen, all the way over to State Highway, uh, which you can see with the traffic driving, this is all still part of Giga Texas property. And as I turn back, not only will we get a great appreciation for just how far away we are from the factory and we can still go quite a bit more so there is a lot of space for future construction if that is what tesla wants but also we can see on the bottom left some of the work that has been underway with uh, a lot of underground uh, pipe work for water or sewage and i think it's also related to what we'll see with that new harold green road 
but as I continue to look back towards the south as we fly to the north, much of this area right in the middle of the screen is where that new road will go through. And uh, you can tell by the size of the factory, we are a great distance away. We are now a couple of miles away from the factory. And the road that you see in the bottom left is kind of the northern boundary, uh, at least on this east side of the factory. And uh, we also see there's a school with a uh, football field uh, coming into view. The school is not on Tesla property, but uh, pretty much everything from this road to the uh, south and to the west as the fly towards the west is still part of Giga Texas. And this large field within the middle, the trees, the hills, and the ponds, which is what is remaining from the sand and gravel mine, is all area that uh, if Tesla wanted, they could build several more Giga Texases here. And perhaps that's the plan as uh, things have been changing on the political and world environment. So this is definitely something that we can continue to uh, monitor. Now, right in the middle of the screen with those trees where the road goes to used to be an old farmhouse that was part of Giga Texas's property when they did some additional land purchases back in 2020 and 2021 to fill out this area. And then and recently they have removed that old farmhouse. The facility down at the bottom of the screen is kind of abandoned. It is still part of the property. So at one point I will see, I believe we'll see that that is removed. Now what I'm going to do here is instead of flying over the highway, I'm just going to pan the drone across and pretty much all of the uh, land that you see between this highway and then the other road that's kind of in the upper middle of the screen is also Giga Texas's property. And it includes a lot of hills and ponds kind of in that uh, north-south configuration because that was also some of that sand and gravel mine. So that is another part of the site that could be developed sometime in the future. And uh, that is uh, probably in the distant future, but nevertheless, it just gives you an idea, I hope, of the expanse of the land that Tesla has purchased in this location. And this is a, as I stop the drone here for a moment, a great look across to the east uh, towards where the battery cathode plant and the dye shop is and to the west where the highway is. And of course, on the other side of the highway, just on the other side of the factory from this perspective is that west support facility. Now, as we continue to fly to the south following along the power lines, uh, you can get a great sense here of just uh, how far away we still are from the factory as we approach it and the amount of land that is available for future uh, development by Tesla. On the left-hand side of the screen where the trees are is uh, more of that sand and gravel mine remnants. Uh, some people ask about the ponds and the trees and whether that's pristine land and it should be uh, saved or um, protected. It's not. This is all a mine and uh, this was... Uh, pretty much undeveloped land and most likely wasn't going to be developed until Tesla purchased it. And now with all the construction, they are definitely improving this location. On the left-hand side of the screen is where we see that batch plant and the uh, electrical switch yard. And as I've uh, re-continued the drone on the other side of the highway, a good look at some of the TxDOT equipment that is between the highway and that median. That is not part of Giga Texas. Uh, some of what we are flying over is, but uh, as we see this uh, asphalt and uh, gravel and uh, concrete plant, this is the Lone Star um, asphalt and paving. Uh, this is not part of Giga Texas, but this plant, the paving and some of the services that they provide has played a big role with the construction of Giga Texas. In fact, much of the roadway that we see being installed just south of the end of line facility on the west side and going over to the cyber tunnel is uh, from the Lone Star Asphalt. So you can get a really great idea of how close it is and how convenient it is to do roadways, uh, especially the asphalt and some of the concrete because of the location of this plant, Lone Star uh, Asphalt, and also the Martin Marietta, or at least the former Martin Marietta concrete plant that is on the north side of the uh, factory property. And what we are flying over right now is also part of Giga Texas's property. A lot of it is undeveloped, but they do have this material staging yard that we see coming up with a lot of the steel, some of the Evapco units, and another one of the material staging yards in the bottom right of the screen. 
So what I'm going to do as we get closer to the main factory again is give you a little bit of a bonus flight with the drone. And I want to show you a 360 degree flight around the main factory. And this is um, a perspective I don't normally give uh, because I'm flying a lot lower, but uh, this uh, hopefully will help fill in some of the uh, blanks that you may have or questions that you have about what the factory looks like. Now, the left-hand side on the uh, roof section is where it's being repaired. Uh, we do see the solar panels that have the Tesla words in it. People keep asking, when will we see more solar panels? And uh, the answer is that the phase two of the solar panels will continue after they finish all of the modifications of the roof, which includes the repairs that we saw, additional ventilation ducting. They put in large uh, uh, ventilation uh, holes in the roof, which they've filled in with uh, ducts and uh, ventilation shafts for heating ventilation system. We have the whole south end and uh, some more areas of the roof that is being reconfigured. So once that work is done, I do expect them to put more solar panels on the roof. It's a great perspective of that extension on the south and how it is now uh, coming into a con complete configuration of the entire structure, including the uh, staining on the uh, walls. And uh, as we fly along the east side, looking to the west, we can see that uh, end of line facility across the highway, that West Ports facility, downtown Austin. So it can give you a perspective of where we are as well. And then on the uh, bottom of the screen is that new bag house filtration plant and the melt plant that has been added onto the east side of the casting machine structure. And as I round the north end of the building, I hope that you enjoyed this grand tour, the information about Harold Green and the 360 degree tour of the factory. As always, thank you very much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care.